Hello, I am Susan Reynard, Gauteng editor of Hotel and Restaurant. We are the business to business brand in the hospitality industry. We write about hospitality, tourism across South Africa, Africa and internationally. We're taking a glimpse behind the scenes, down the corridors of a top hotel. We've chosen Hilton Santon, which has been around for 14 years. It is an icon in the Santon business node and appeals to both business and leisure travelers. So they are well versed in how to meet the needs of a variety of local and international guests. Come with us on this journey. It's a day in the life of a number of key departments across this hotel. The mechanics of a hotel are its staff. Here at Hilton, staff are referred to as team members or internal guests. Today, we talk to the training manager and the human resources manager to see what it takes to select the right staff, retain them and train them throughout their careers. We're looking for an attitude. We can train skills, we can train um, characteristics, but we can train attitude. So in the recruitment process, we would recruit for attitude. In selecting staff, we have a diverse group of staff. We have diverse positions and duties and tasks to perform. So we have to um, venture into all aspects of the feeder market. So we would look for students coming in to develop our own talent and the people with experience, we would bring them in and train them to Hilton brand standards and to acceptable five-star international standards. One of the responsibilities of heads of department and of supervisors is particularly to catch somebody doing something right. Obviously, we would pick up from time to time that somebody isn't doing something right, but the approach to do, not doing something correctly is important and that's what Hilton is all about. The concept of human resources and managing human resources is a personal thing. It's a people concept. So it's a relationship concept. We have a concept that says we have no staff. We only have team members. We work as a team. We support each other. And in doing so, it's an attitude. Uh, it is a shared vision. It's a shared concept. It's shared ownership. Because of the great diversity of skills required, we have to employ people of different origins, different native backgrounds, different languages, all coming together to produce one product. So they recruited mainly for their skills and their ability to display the right attitude, to be a team member. We have a concept in the hotel, and this started about two months ago, where we have a competition among staff, especially supervisors to see who's going to greet first. And when you walk down the corridor and you see an internal guest, and the rule is you smile first, before you greet, before you open your mouth. Working at a hotel compared to studying hotel management is two completely different things. It's one thing knowing the theory and another thing putting the theory into practice. Uh, working with the new people, new environment, it can be a lot more difficult than being at varsity with your friends and having a small little argument, whereas in the real world, it's getting along with everyone, even if you have to put your differences aside, putting the extra hours, as well as it's your name at the end of the day. You want to look good and you want the guests to come back to you and the hotel. I think the whole experience of a guest brings them back to this hotel. It's a personal experience that they do experience at the Hilton Sanson whether it's being a staff being friendly or the great service or just a smile on their face. So we do a lot of leadership programs, we do a lot of on-the-job training, help them develop their skills and we try and do it in a fun and interactive way so they don't think that they're learning their skill about their job but more about how to become a better person. For example, we don't refer to a waiter as a waiter, they are a salesperson. We have a number of different ways that we develop team members one of them being through our elevator program which is all about looking at potential general managers within the industry they don't necessarily have to work for hilton currently they can work for any hotel company they could even be straight out of matric if they are a student who feels that they want to become a general manager it is a program designed at the person who's got the skill and their ability and honing that skill and giving them the knowledge to be a general manager 
Other ways in which we identify team members for permanent team members, we do um, development reviews where we look at what were the objectives of the department for the year, did they achieve those, did they go ahead and basically do more than what was expected of them and if they have done fairly well or they need a bit of development, their HOD will fill in what kind of development they would like them to take place. For our contract team members, we do training needs analysis. We look at them and we say, what do you want to do with your life? Do you want to be a room attendant for the rest of your life? Or do you want to become a permanent team member one day? And where do you want to go? And we look at doing cross exposure where we will take somebody from housekeeping and we will put them into switchboard and we will groom them until they can work their way up into a receptionist position. So we have a lot of ongoing training that happens every day throughout the hotel. There is a lot of focus around HIV and AIDS, which is one of the programs that we run every year. We also run pandemic programs, so if there is anything like the N1H1 virus that happened two years ago, we did workshops on that. One of the other aspects which we've identified in last year was budgeting. People get paid a salary, but they don't necessarily know how to spend their money wisely and how to save for their old age. So that is a program that we are focusing very much on this year. So we try and group people with maybe a person who has a far advanced background with somebody who's maybe not as educated as what they are. And we get them to learn from each other. And we find that the best way people learn is actually by training each other. And service is about us as people. You cannot computerize somebody greeting you with a warm and friendly smile. So we're constantly relating, relating that back to the old way of doing things and we're trying to create a generation that follows through with us into the future. And I find for a lot of our team members who have been in a hotel for many years, you tend to lose your passion a little bit and when you see this bright young student coming in and they've just come out of orientation and they feel that they can conquer the world and they can conquer every guest, it reminds our older team members of what they thought they could achieve and they are willing to go out and actually demonstrate this to the learner. So it puts our older team members to their challenges and makes them remember why they joined the industry in the first place. Ultimately, a guest will want to come back to us because we are loyal to them. They will show their loyalty to us if we are constantly acknowledging them for when they were here previously, greeting a guest for the first time and saying to them, welcome back to the Hilton Santon, Mr. Jones. We so you see that from your last day you had a King Deluxe suite and off offering him the same room that he had the last time and he will realize that he is an individual and will want to come back because we offer him that personalized service.